everybody, it's Isabel. Welcome to my channel. Today I am working on day four of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. This series 10 has exclusive sketches and the sketch we are working on today was created by Cheryl Ashcraft. Now this sketch has a lot of dimension. I can see it on the page. It has one photo. I am going to pull in this one photo of my daughter. I recently scrapped a similar photo with her and my brother on the grass. So this layout is actually going to pair with that layout in the book. And because of that, I am going to use the same collection. I am going to use Arcadia. I did pull the scraps from the last layout that I did with this collection. So they are right here. Um, with the exception of this blue one on the side, this one is a basil paper and it has like a shimmer gloss to it. I don't know. It has a, a little bit of texture and then some shimmer. And I was thinking that it would be a good cardstock to do the zigzags with. Now I am going to use a white cardstock as my base and just bring in the colors um, from the Arcadia collection onto the layout. Now I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do here, but um, I have not done any journaling for the day of this and this provides really good journaling so I'll be able to journal what we were doing um, and how it went and there is a doily back here I really want to use a doily I don't have any doilies on hand but I'm sure I can probably find something online or on the Cricut to um, mimic the cut and get a doily on here um, as for the embellishments, not 100% sure. We're going to wing it on the embellishments. But as of now, I know that I am going to do the zigzag here. I did create the design already on the Cricut. And so I'm going to get that cut. I'm going to get it down on the white cardstock. And I will be back. Okay, you guys. So I decided that before I actually adhere them, I'm going to let you see um, how I actually get them down. Now... I'm just recreating that pattern that's on Cheryl's sketch and I'm gonna use my T-ruler. I know a lot of people like to put it off the Versa mat, but um, I don't because I don't always put my paper on there evenly and it always still comes out crooked. So I like to just keep it on the paper, but that's my preference. Um, I'm just gonna put some Nouveau glue on it. Once I get this first one down, they're all going to pretty much fall into place because I'm just going to stack them from there. I almost made a mistake, you guys. Well, I mean, I started to make a mistake. Um, I started to adhere the zigzags, and then I realized that Cheryl has what looks like ink splatters on the sketch um, in the background. So before I get them all adhered, I am going to do some ink splattering in pretty much the same general area um, that she has it in and then I will get the zigzags on top of it now for the splatters What I did was I brought in the papaya from close to my heart and Just smushed a little bit on some old packaging added some water and with a paintbrush I'm just doing some subtle ink splatters now on camera You probably can't see it all that well, but in person they do stand out a little bit more um I'm not comfortable with heavy ink splattering unless I'm doing like heavy mixed media, but uh, I'm gr it's growing on me little by little. <laughs> um, but anyways, I'm going to finish this and then get all the zigzags on. Okay, I really wish scrapping was this quick. Um, I've got them all on. Now what I'm thinking is, I know Cheryl doesn't have the photo bordered in the layout, but I'm going to border mine. I'm first gonna border it with a white cardstock, and then I'm gonna border it a little bit thicker with this peach polka dot paper that came from the Arcadia collection. Um, I do do some dry fitting with some other colors because I wanted to get multiple colors on the layout, but it just, Against the blue, it wasn't, it wasn't really popping the way that the peach color does. So I just left it as is. And I figured I could get the colors, the other colors I wanted to use in the layout with the embellishments. 
so my next step is getting this doily um, cut out. I did uh, find one. I found two doilies that I liked and just combined them into one on the Cricut. Um, I did mess it up a little bit, or I didn't, but the, the Cricut messed it up a little bit. But it's going to, I can fit that piece that um, didn't cut very well underneath the photo and you won't even be able to tell the difference. But I was considering inking the whole doily in the color papaya from Close to My Heart. And I thought it was just too dark. So then I tried, um, I believe it was dried marigold from the Distress Oxide. And that one was just too orange or too, yeah, it was more like an orangey color. It didn't fit the peach color that I was going for. So I ended up leaving the doily white and then I'm just going to get it tucked underneath the photo and start with my embellishments. Actually, right before I get that all adhered down, I am going to bring in some dimension, put some fun foam behind the photo so that I can have th that depth that Cheryl has represented in the sketch. Okay, you guys, so I went diving into my stash and I was trying to find embellishments that would work. Um, I think I'm going to create more flowers uh, using this American Crafts, or Paper Crafts. Yeah, American Crafts. Using this American Crafts um, stamp set now I'm going to use this floral right here and I'm going to stamp that one in the blue and the papaya. The blue is Mermaid Lagoon from Distress Oxide and then the peach one is papaya from Close to My Heart. Um, and then I'm going to use this stem um, leaf and stamp that in New England Ivy to accomplish this to go with them. And then one more, I'm gonna bring in just a floral stamp set that I got from Amazon. And I'm gonna use this one and stamp it in Close to My Heart Glacier, which will give me this. Now, I did do a bunch of them. I didn't know how many I was gonna need, so I just stamped a bunch of them and I fussy cut them. So, I have these. And now, I'll put those aside for now. What I'm going to do is get a little bit messy. <laughs> So I will start with the New England Ivy since the sponge is already on it. Um, all I do, okay, I stamped it, I fussy cut it. Bring this down. I do one um, dab of the ink. I push it down so that it's just to get a lot of the heavy excess off. And then I brush the tips. And then that will give it like a two-tone detail. So I'm going to do that to all of the leaves. And then the same goes for the florals. I'm going to do the same thing. So let me see. There's this one. I do one dab. And then... I'm just basically brushing the tips. Now, if I want to bring in that color a little bit lower, I'll put my finger here because right now it's just the tips and it bends, so it's only going to get the tips. But if I put my finger here and I brush it, I'll get it, um, I'll get it to go deeper into the flower, and that's where you get messy. But I don't mind. So I'll cluster them together and then just kind of Stick these in like that. Maybe something like that. 
I don't know, something like that. And then I'll put them on the layout. And then I'll find some embellishments. But for now, I'm going to finish these off. And then I will be back um, once I go figure out what I'm going to use. <laughs> ah, I'll be back. Okay, you guys. So, I am going to just get the florals on where I'm thinking they're going to sit. Um, to see if I need to make any more. I did go diving into my stash for embellishments. And I'll tell you, man. I think my organization for my embellishments, for lack of a better word, sucks. <laughs> I just, I have like all my stickers together. I have all my stamps together. My die cuts together. My alphas are all together. My dots are all together. And it's just... um I feel like when I search for my embellishments, I have to go looking in everything all over again. So it's taken me twice as long. How do you guys store your embellishments? Like, do you guys store them by collection or color? Like, what is the best? Because I've only been doing this for a year. What is the best way to organize all of these embellishments? Because if I do it by collection, I don't no, like I don't go looking in that collection if I'm not using it. And I hardly use a collection because I like to mix everything up. So if you guys have any suggestions on maybe like a good tutorial or a showroom, like if you've seen something that looks good that might work, I need help. <laughs> I need help trying to figure out because my collection is growing and my space is limited. Um, I have a guest room. And I'm, I'm tempted to turn it into my scrapbook room. But then I'm afraid that as soon as I do that, I'm going to have a guest over. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. Um, let me know, guys. Let me know what's the best way that you've seen or how you do it uh, for storing embellishments. Or organizing the embellishments. But anyways, <laughs> the florals I got down kind of in the same general area for the embellishments that she has on the page. Now I did bring in this uh, this beige dandelion um, cardstock I cut in a little square that's going to be for my journaling. I am going to put a white cardstock on top of it. This will just sit as the border, the base. Um, and... This is not the ideal way, you guys. Like, do not. I tried to pull it off the page, but it it wasn't working. I had glued it and I had taped it. It was tearing the paper and I figured I'd just bend it up and ink the edges. The reason why I was doing this is because I wanted it to be a little bit more defined between the dandelion paper and this one because I'm going to tuck the dandelion paper under the photo. It overblended with the polka dot paper. So... That's why I took the papaya and I inked the edges around the photo so that there was that crisp line going down that gave you your divide between the two cardstocks. Okay, so I did find this hip kit frame collection um, in my hip kit stash, <laughs> which is like one. <laughs> but um, it matches the papers perfectly, the peach paper. So I don't want it to be see-through. I want to back it with a white cardstock. So I'm gonna back it the way that you would a cut file. I'm just gonna lay the frame on a white cardstock and outline the piece that I want filled and then cut around my line so that there's enough space to get it glued down to the actual frame. Um, that is how I'm gonna do that. Once I do that, I'm gonna cut it in half so that I can use it in two sections of the layout, uh, below the photo and then on the top left hand corner. Now, after I do that, I'm going to work on creating the journaling card. Now, I'm going to just cut another white cardstock smaller than the dandelion paper, get that um, inked around the edges with papaya to help it pop, and then I'm also going to lightly ink around the dandelion paper as well um, and stick that exactly where 
Cheryl has the journaling on her layout. Now, right above it, I'm going to pull a title from a recollection sticker pad, and it's going to read Happy Little Moments. I did not like the way that it looked um, against everything that was going on in that section, so I wanted it to be a little bit of, a little bit highlighted. So I pulled in a blue cardstock that I can border that with, and that will sit right above the journaling. Now, I do apologize, you guys. Um, for some reason, part of the clip for the embellishing, it got corrupted. So there is no footage. Um, if you guys have any questions on anything that's on there that you want to know where it came from, just leave me a comment below and I'll get the information to you. But if you guys have time, there is a playlist with everybody playing along. If you don't already know, uh, for 30 days of sketches with Chrissy's Beautiful Life. And you can jump on that playlist if you have time and watch them. Um, if you wait, <laughs> every day that you wait, there are more and more videos uploaded and every day it's gonna take longer and longer to get through them. But I mean, if you have time, hang out with us, watch all the creatives work on these sketches and see what everybody, how everybody interprets one sketch in their own perspective. I think it's brilliant, I love it, and I can't wait to actually sit down. I am letting them pile up on me because as you can see, I am already a little bit behind, but that is because I had to work doubles, but I'm finally getting a day off, so scrapbook all day, yay. <laughs> um, hopefully I can catch up and be on the right day. But before I end this video, um, let me quickly go over the embellishments that I used. I used four different collections, the hip kit frames, and then there were a couple of chipboard pieces like hearts and a little chipboard square by the journaling that says, let's play outside. Um, I used a lot of the sentiments came from a recollections pad um, on the top left-hand corner, a beautiful day below the photo on this day. I am gonna write the date and then a circle element below the journaling. That is from Park Lane, um, a collection that I purchased at Joann's. Uh, but other than that, you guys, that's pretty much it. That's the layout. Thank you so much for joining me. I won't hold you guys any longer. I know that there are a lot of videos you need to watch or you wanna probably go watch. So I will catch you guys on another day, hopefully with multiple videos, and I will be on track. Have a good one, and I'll see you soon. Bye.